Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this Urban Decay and Smashbox makeup tutorial. Now I'm showing you how to do this makeup tutorial. First of all, before you do anything, you need to prep your face with a primer, which is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Second of all, I would use a um, foundation, which is a Smashbox Studio Skin. Prepping it with a beauty blender to put on your face. Now I'm just smoothing it out so it's a smooth consistency. It dries to a matte finish and then your face will actually look really good. Now with your with how you prep your skin and how you prep your face, there is two things that you need to do anyway. Now you can put the foundation on around your mouth as well so that that's prepped as well and then going back over with the foundation all over your face now I'd like to do this a couple of times so that the whole entire um, foundation is actually absorbing into my face now you can use a powder which is the this is the Studio Max Fix in NW20 and this is a really pinky toned color which actually makes your skin really look really um, vibrant and it's not too dull as well. It's actually my skin tone color so it actually makes your face look really white. Now with the, um, the Smashbox um, foundation, I am the color I am is the 1.2 in their range. Now there is different colors as well. Now I'm just putting the powder all over my face so I can set my face. Next is the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Now this spray is fantastic, it's not um, so um, strong on my face. Now I do that in a circular motion to get all the product to stay on my skin. Now I'm using the Smashbox Concealer in Light. And this is a waterproof concealer by the way too. So I'm just putting that under my eyes and along my nose and around any blemishes that you have like I did it on my pubic bow as well and I'm just going back in with the beauty blender and I'm going to pack that in this is an option if you want to do that it's up to you and then I'm going to be packing it in and making it look really presentable now this is a really big option if you want to use it on your face. Now I'm going in with the Urban Decay Smoky palette. I'm using 13 which is a light um, colour which is the end colour of the um, range. Now this palette is fantastic. Now I'm just using the bigger brush to apply the um, the um, eyeshadow on now I just noticed that there was a bit of a blue tinge to my um, eyeshadow so um, before you do anything you might want to actually use a brush that is clean or you can clean your brushes now the other thing that I'm using in this tutorial as well I'm just putting that as a base and then I'm going over with Dirty Sweat. Now Dirty Sweat is a gold colour. So this is that one there. Next to Armour. Now this colour is fantastic because it's got gold pigments in it. Now if you get any fallout, just dust it away afterwards. Just keep watching because that's what I do. I will be dusting it away. So it's um, so the whole colour is actually packed on and 
by doing this method it actually stays on longer and it there is a tip as well when you're applying eyeshadow as well to not get it um, so compacted onto your brush you want to sort of pat it off so it, it doesn't stay in the brush and it's much easier to clean your brushes later on you can use a primer or an eye primer for the eyeshadow to stay on I just use the concealer on my actual eyelid and that actually works perfectly too there is different different ways of doing it if you want to just keep it on like that you can do that that way now I'm going in with the gray color which is so there is a gray color it's called password and the gray is going on the inner corner and I'm using a blender brush to blend the two colors in together now this is an option if you want to make your eyes pop and stay really um, good if you don't want to you can skip this entire um, thing if you want to now I'm just doing the bottom lash line as well I'm going in with so now I'm going to use a blender brush by Bodyography and I'm just blending out the two colors together to go in the crease line and get rid of that harsh line next I'm going to be using Hourglass Infusion with a angled brush and this is a really beautiful color it's really pigmented but it's like a powdery based um, blush now you can use it on its own or you can mix it in together basically you can actually entice it into your makeup routine now I went a little bit overboard with this color and it does come off as a really bang it's right there type thing so next I'm going to be using Hang Loose by MAC and it's a mineral based um, blush which has got pigments through the whole entire product. Now you can use this by itself but, or you can just mix it in with the other colours. Now you can put this as an accent colour or you can put it in to your other blush. Now I'm using NARS Instant Cheek Palette and this is really a good um, cheek palette to use because the colours are really vibrant and other than that, that's it for that part. Next I'm using a sponge which this is from Mecca and this is a um, contouring tool. This is really good because it it did push all the colours together. Now I'm going in with Stila, which is an eyeliner. And this is the best colour ever from their range. Now this colour is Stingray. I know it doesn't look like a Stingray, but it's the name of it. We are putting that on the top lash, lash line where your eyelashes are and we are fixing the um, line because I mucked it up first off with every makeup artist you need to perfect your eye your eyeliner otherwise it looks really bumpy which I will show you in this tutorial now I'm going to do the other side which I sort of went in and then all of a sudden it just went a jagged line so I had to fix it up you can have it so it's straight or you can have it coming out like a wing 
Now that's how the other eye was looking and then I sort of bumped my arm as I was doing it. Um, next I'm going to fix the actual eye line um, line so that it's basically symmetrical, not having jagged lines everywhere. The tip is from going, I think it's going from out to in, which is actually better because you don't want to sort of bump it or blink as you're doing it and you make a mistake. So I am actually fixing this up in this tutorial. And then after that, I'm going to be using my lip liner, which is from Chichi, which is a um, fly girl. And then after that off camera, I actually use my Clinique Chubby Lash Mascara and a eyeliner to go in my waterline. And then I put my Shanexo um, color and then L'Oreal Paris um, lipstick on and then then I would actually do is that was basically about it so while I'm doing that I'm just putting this on I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you enjoyed this tutorial please give this um, tutorial a big thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell icon and leave a message as well on this video and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye everybody.